Hello my friends, welcome to Bunny Tales. Today we're going to learn how to make a learning resource that will teach kids about fractions. We'll start out with two rectangular pieces of cardboard that are the same size. On the first one we're going to draw four circles. I use this paper cutout to help me draw the circles. Then we're going to turn these circles into pies. We can draw different patterns on the pies. This will provide a visual cue that will help the struggling students identify the different fractions. If you are working with more advanced students, you can use the same pattern on all of the pies. This is a great resource for teaching children about fractions. When I teach fractions in my class, our first step is usually to make real pies. The students enjoy cutting the pies into fractions and then eating them. This gives this activity a more real-life application. By connecting it to something real, the students are more likely to repeat the activity over and over until they have learned the concept. After we're done coloring all the pies, we're going to use a cutter to cut out the inner circle while leaving the outside part intact. We're going to cut out all four pies. After cutting out all four pie circles, we can now move on to the next step. We are going to use a hot glue gun to fasten the top piece which we cut the pies out of to the bottom piece. Now we're going to take our pies. We're going to use the same paper cutout we used to draw the circles to divide the circles into fractions by folding the paper into half or into quarters or into thirds. We can mark out the pies. Then we're going to use a cutter to cut them. The final step to our activity is writing each type of fraction. We're going to write down the name of the fraction and then we're going to mark them down on the bottom part of the cardboard. After that, the students can match the fraction to the correct pie. I only made four fractions for this one, but you can use it for any number of fractions you want to. You can do eighths, ninths, or whatever fraction your students are working on. I hope you enjoyed making this learning resource with me, and I hope your students enjoy using it to practice their fractions. Thank you!